Here we're going to show you how to prune your tree after picking it up from our retail store or receiving it in the mail. If you've received it as a shipment, it will have already been pruned to fit inside the box, but there are still likely a few more cuts you'll need to make to get the tree to grow in the way that you want it to. The first thing that we always look at is the rootstock. Almost all of our fruiting trees are grafted onto some sort of rootstock. The rootstock determines the overall height of the tree, whether it will be a dwarf or semi-dwarf tree, and also gives the tree some drought tolerance and vigor. One of the first things we check before we plant a new tree in the ground is to make sure that the rootstock is not sending out any suckers. Here we have the graft between the rootstock and the scion wood. In this case, our scion is early laxed in plum and our rootstock is Mariana, which is a semi-dwarfing rootstock that will provide disease resistance and vigor while also giving us a tree that is not too large. But we want this rootstock putting its energy into the scion wood rather than into suckers from the rootstock, which will steal energy from this scion. So anywhere where we see these root suckers coming up, we are going to snap those off. And anywhere else, if you were to see root suckers, or on mature established trees, if you see anything coming up from below this graft union here, be sure to break those off so that the root stock does not steal energy from the scion. And then when looking at our tree, Anytime we've dug up a bare root tree from the soil, we have inevitably lost some of the root system in the process of digging it up. So to balance that out, we want to have a balanced ratio between the tops or the shoots and the roots. So to do that, we're going to prune these long whips back quite a bit. And when pruning these back, we don't just prune to any bud. We want to be pruning to an outward facing bud. So here, if I were to prune to this bud, it might cause the tree to branch this way. So I will choose a bud. We generally take about a third of the new growth off from last year. You can see this was all of last year's new growth. And so I will prune to this bud right here. We prune just above the bud and at an angle. The reason we prune at an angle is so that any water that lands on the twig is not resting there, which can be a vector for fungal diseases to get in. We don't want to prune too close to the bud and we don't want to prune too far away from it. Pruning too far away will leave a bunch of dead wood and pruning too close can desiccate the bud. And so we'll continue to do this, pruning to an outward facing bud, taking about a third off of the top. And we're going for an open vase shape here. Prune off any dead wood, such as this, that can rot. Anything that is broken in transit can be pruned off any branches that have a weird or wonky pattern to them can be cut right at the collar. Also in the first year, if there are flowers on the young tree, we'll generally pull these off as we don't want the tree putting any energy into making fruit that year. Making fruit is an incredibly energy intensive process. We want the tree just to be building a large root system and creating branches right now. We'll also cut off any branches that have a bad crotch angle. So you can see here, you'll notice the crotch angle coming off of the main trunk here. It's very nice on these branches. We can bend them down slightly, but we want them coming at a 45 degree angle off of the tree. So these ones here, none of these are good. And to maintain that open vase shape we were talking about earlier, we're just gonna take this one all the way back to right here. And then when we plant this in the ground, we can tie these branches down to maintain that crotch angle and you'll have yourself a nicely shaped tree. Now here you can see a plum that we planted with that same pruning technique. And on all these outward facing buds, we now have shoots that are emerging and coming out from the base or from the interior of the tree. Here where we topped it to this bud, we now have this shoot emerging off in this direction. And so all around here, we're setting the tree up to have this nice open vase shape and especially with plums, apples, many different fruits in this climate, having maximized airflow through these open shapes is essential for keeping diseases down.